Yes. Allowing the rebels to enforce demands does actually convert us, and the best news, it doesn't even lower our prestige. However, uh, it does do some things, which I forget what they were, but who cares? Honestly, this is much better. Now I can show you what the Orthodox get. So they get these icons that they can commission, and look at this. This is what we want, but they get all these good ones. Wow. Plus they get Patriarch Authority, which is honestly just way better. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we will have to let them siege down Krakow, but that's fine. Anyway, back to the game. Hello, and welcome back to EU4. This right here is our lovely test game that I did. We're going to return to our Iron Man game. So, welcome back. This is EU4. We're playing as Poland. Episode 3. So, I found some good news with my testing. It does convert us to Orthodox if we capitulate to their demands, but only if they enforce it, not if we accept. So, we want to provoke a revolt and lower Krakow. We want them to siege down Krakow, but we do not want them to siege down any other fort. And once they siege down Krakow, not only will they be able to convert our, st our uh, capital state's provinces, which, by the way, is why Nowy Shaksh was not converted. And, by the way, I am butchering all of this Polish. I do not speak Polish. <laughs> so, once they convert Krakow, they should be able to convert Nowy Shaksh and Cheshini quite easily. We're going to take the prestige. Well, yeah, we're going to take the prestige. Papal influence will be of no use to us in a second. So we're sending our men down the Podole. We're going to have to tank the deficit for a second. Oh no, we don't need to right now. Actually, yeah, we're not going to. We're only going to be sieging down a fort, so. I think that only costs us so much because we're reinforcing. I took a break between episodes two and three of recording to eat, so I am nourished and ready to go. I also have a bottle of water. Excellent, we're gonna have you drill. Even though that will cost us some money. No crownland, we can seize again. Oh, this year, actually next month. Yeah, we're we're gonna <laughs> Oh, excuse me, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put you down here and send Ojimish. What a shame. We just got our estates loyal with us. Oh no, we didn't. What was that then? We're not going to worry about it. Oh, excellent. 70%. We're just going to provoke that revolt. Okay, we're going to keep you here. Okay, well, we'll seize after this. Oh, and great. We get a government reform. We're, we can either pick between curtailed noble privileges, which gives us more tax modifier, or strengthened noble privileges, which gives us national manpower modifier. This will be worthless to us later on, so we're going to pick Curtail Noble Privileges. And the reason it will be worthless to us later on isn't necessarily worthless. It will just be another modifier to a pool that, honestly, if we have more or not, it does not matter. Because our pool will be huge. Like, hundreds of thousands. Of course. I could justify it by taking it now. We're going to move hopefully here. Don't, don't move here. Good, they aren't. Okay, good. They did. Once we take quantity ideas, our manpower pool will be massive, frankly, and we won't need it. Oh, thank you. Our manpower pool will be so big that we just don't need any more, like, feasibly. We can take so much attrition and we just won't use all of it. So having more doesn't matter, but having more gold does. Gold juice for more things than manpower. And you could justify it taking it now. Oh yeah, we're going to lower our... Oh, we already did. Okay, good. You could justify taking it now by saying it's more imminently useful. But honestly, I don't want to respend more government reform, des or reform power. You could wait until I get all the way to the end. That's when all reforms cost 50 instead of their tier level cost. But I just don't want to bother with it. I just want the money. Money can hire mercenaries if I really need more manpower. Fortune. Okay, we are not going to have our maintenance raised. That is detrimental to our financial situation. We will raise it when we go and attack this army. 
which probably will actually be never. We're just going to let them do their thing. I think we can re-siege down these provinces, since it's only the forts that make them uh, raise their enforced demands modifier. Which we are going to let them do. And that's actually really excellent for us, that <clears throat> it does not lower your prestige, because normally, when you swap convert to a religion manually, it changes your prestige by negative 100. It subtracts 100 prestige, and you go into the negatives. And negative prestige is what we do not want. We do not... Oh, I I don't have my diplomats doing anything. That's unfortunate. Threat war. Oh, they are... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we, we expected that, actually. Maybe when they get occupied by Denmark a little bit, we can take a province from them. Okay, I don't like these events, but we're gonna make the Beerers happy with us. I prefer to have the Beerers happy with us. Oh, and the Equilibrium's 30 now. Excellent. Yeah, the, uh, what's, what are they called? The Schlotza? They can, they can kiss my ass. I really don't care. Um... Honestly, I think I started to say this earlier and didn't finish it. It could have been in my first playthrough, so I'll re-say it now. This might be heretical to some people that are hearing this, but I think once we get down to Tier 7, since these are pretty easy to get through, I think what I'm going to do is install a Republic. But we will need to wait until 1600 until we can switch off of Elective Monarchy. Which hope hopefully can be soon. We might have to capitulate to some noble rebels first, <clears throat> but we'll see. We're going to keep it on speed four for now because we need to look at this. Keep a close eye on these rebels. Oh, interesting. Okay. They did not let Austria take the personal union. Huh. Let's just verify that real quick. They didn't. Uh-oh. Um, okay, well, that was plan... What was it? B? Um, invading Hungary. Because we want to take over Hungary faster than the Ottomans can, because they will definitely do it. Now that Austria doesn't directly have the power... Oh, that's going to be a pain in our ass. I guess that's what we get for allying Russia. Okay, so we can invest in tax modifier, which will raise our tax modifier, and get us closer to this production efficiency, which will be nice. And plus, we're ahead of time in tech. No reason to go further ahead of time once you're already ahead of time, except for the innovativeness, which, honestly, yeah. Someone's already reached it, so it's worthless to us. So we'll just get the idea. Which will give us innovativeness anyway. Did they get more units? I think they did. Oh well. That is... Oh. This is why I said fuck the Schlotta. Schlotza? Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> fuck them. And kiss my ass. Oh, the only bad news about them occupying these provinces is that the clergy gets more land, but that's okay. I knew there was some deficit to this, but honestly, the goods outweigh the bad. The unfortunate news now, though, is hopefully they'll go here instead of east again. And getting that 10 autonomy from the occupation is way better than getting the 33 from accepting it. I would much rather be in debt a little bit. Oh, they're going back this way. Okay, that's unfortunate, but fine. I would much rather be in debt than uh, have autonomy, because autonomy makes it so that we get in debt quicker, because we don't make as much. And they rivaled us. Okay, we expected that, too. Okay, well, that was... Um, we'll just wait for them to do it. That is uh, sad, but expected. Okay, so there goes that opportunity out the window. Now we're... Oh, you know, there goes both of our opportunities out the window. Oh, shit, because Austria didn't get Hungary, which we wanted. Oh, shit. Okay, um... This isn't good. I guess that makes it interesting. 
How close are you to your demands? Uh-oh. Yeah, go occupy that. We do not want them. Okay, as much as I love you occupying provinces that are already orthodox, please go to here. Here. Okay, random event. They would not have insulted us on their own. I guarantee you. And just to make it more convincing to go there, we're going to move all the way down the puzzle there. Actually, oh, okay, well, that's not that's not orthodox either, so we're fine with that. Yep, and see, we took a lot. I'm going to move here. Nope, nope, not there. This way. That's okay. The deficit is infinitely worth it. Being Catholic does not really benefit us. I will be completely honest. The benefits of being Orthodox are much, much, much better than being Catholic. I'm just trying to position my armies so that they are forced to go one way. And hopefully they will. They'll either go back to Chandos which I should have kept. Yeah, I should have kept occupied. But that's okay. We'll just move to Lublin now and they'll be forced to move this way. We're going to lower our maintenance, which is probably a bad decision, but we'll see. Okay, actually, I'm going to keep it raised for a month. Once I, once I push them in this direction... Um, we'll be fine. No, this is insane. I, I, I do have to say that having rebels this early and letting them do this, <laughs> it does weaken you a bit, but in the end, we will be much stronger because of it. I guarantee you. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Orthodoxy is just so much better than Catholicism with all the DLCs. In base game, not so much, I don't think. But I do have all of the DLCs except for Dharma which I refuse to buy. So we should be good. We're gonna no, counter espionage and this isn't worth it. We're gonna counter espionage in Muscovy because they need to go come to us to fabricate on Lithuania. So we're gonna counter espionage them. I don't wanna be at war with Muscovy. Although it would be nice to push in this direction and get the hordes because, I, oh, I just realized we don't have Cossacks. Once we become the PLC, we might get the Kha'Zix. I forget if that's something that happens or not. Okay, we are going to find you. I don't really care about the Siege of Krakow. We want them to have Krakow anyway. We are going to let them do all the converting for us. Ah, uh, sure, we're not going to be Catholic for that much longer anyway, so... Reform Desire. Kind of a dick move on our parts, but like I said, I really just don't care. Yes, please go to these provinces and convert them. Uh, please? One of these two. Oh, we're there. That works, too. We'll just... We'll just keep them going in this direction. If we have to convert a few provinces ourselves, that's fine. Uh, Lithuania is our vassal, so... Oh. Our vassal? <laughs> so, uh, we don't care about them not hating us, or not liking us, because we can just do this. And get an extra plus 200. The innovativeness is much worth a minus opinion, which will go away fairly rapidly. I don't know why we got an inventor from there, that we're the same nation. <laughs> like, I don't understand. We have the same foreign policy. I don't know how they're foreign. Oh, silly me. I forgot to set up my timer, but that's okay because I can just see how long this is so far from my recording. As you can tell, I don't uh, I don't organize these recordings very well. I just kind of record and start talking. Um, if that shouldn't be evident by how much I repeat myself in U4 and in Oblivion, then are you really watching? But that's okay. I don't mind repeating myself, and I hope you don't mind me repeating myself, because I just like talking. Oh! They forced us. Okay, cool. Well, we're orthodox. So now that's excellent. So I really do not see the bad thing about converting the orthodox. There's, like, none. And I'm sure in a few seconds I will be put into my chair and told I shouldn't have done that by the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, oh, so this is the bad thing. Now we're a different religion. Ah. Uh, only 50... 
we're gonna wait to do that. But Mazovia, yep, and Moldavia, we can't. Oh, because they already are. Okay, perfect. Well, Mazovia, here is what we s save power for. We, we're, yep, we invest in them, and then they don't care. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Um, Lithuania, you are converting to Orthodox. Perfect. Now we are going to look at whatever province is cheapest for you. Pyjama? Sure. I don't care if this falls is behind in tech. As I mentioned, it's immensely worth it. Okay, and then these penalties should go away around the same time the Enforced Religion penalty do, so... Uh, we're going to invest a little bit more in their capital just to be safe. So that should get us at... 39. Okay, great. Uh, actually, we're gonna have you here. How's our revolt risk looking? Okay, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Why is my A key not work? Oh, it's because it's Y. That's weird. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's that's interesting. Um, okay, I guess we'll take Stolp from you then. Should I declare war now? Yeah, I'm gonna declare war now. I'm just gonna take what I can from them. Livonia won't join, but Stetten will, and we don't really care about Stetten. They're yeah, they're four men. We're just gonna march straight in here. We're gonna try to take Stolp because that's what we get immediately. Austria won't join. That's okay, but all of our other people will, which is fine. Excellent. Oh yeah, we're gonna change you guys from passive now that we have our rebel demands enforced. We're gonna si we're gonna let you guys decide what you do. Yeah, easy war. I mean, pretty easy. Unfortunately, Denmark will probably take most of the stuff we want. I mean, hopefully they don't literally take it. Let's let's see. Yeah, they should want these provinces more than they do this. Let's actually just check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Oh yeah, let's set all of these provinces as provinces of interest, because... Okay, I can't set that one. Azovia? Yeah, I don't know why I can't just set this one, but... Or that one. Oh, you that's probably why. I hate that mechanic. Okay, that's odd. <sighs> Fort mechanics never did make sense, and they never will. Okay, how's the... Um, it's fine. You know, it's it's fine. We'll just set the state to... Uh, enforce missionary maintenance. Er, unity. Mazovians at 50, that's okay. You see, I'm very... Uh, I'm very pertinent, persistent, penis. I'm very uh, insistent on setting all of these guys below the liberty desire because I found out that if, oh shit, they're gonna get here before I do. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully they'll peace out. I'm very insistent on keeping them below their threshold because I found out in my single player games, if they form a a treaty of support independence they'll never break it even if they have a hundred a hundred trust 200 opinion they will never break it which is stupid as shit but hey that's okay last jousting tournament yeah sure we'll host it not sure we can afford it but <laughs> sure okay they peaced out they did not take anything from the Teutonic Order. They took all of Estonia, which we expected. And here's the news. That's what I thought. Maybe if the month ticks over? Yeah, no. If we had Lithuania, we would be able to for sure, but... Oh well. Not a huge deal. Now we are the leaders of this siege, and... We can go back and re-siege this. We should be easy. Easy, easy. Yeah, because there's 480 men. Basically, as soon as we breach this wall, we can assault and get it immediately. It's fantastic. We don't shame we don't have cannons yet, but that's because I spend spending all my military power on keeping my vassals not hating me. 
for an error. That's okay, we are 31. So, unless the game really hates us, we should not die anytime soon. I have ports? Oh yeah, these I guess technically count as my ports, don't they? Yep, and since Livonia didn't join this war, we are pretty set. Fortunately, Lithuania and vassals in general do not like um, forming claims, which is very annoying, and you can't get claims for them. Even if they're your personal union, which I think is stupid, but... Oh, speaking of stupid, that's rather stupid, wouldn't you think? Oh. It's okay, though. Yeah, they, they reinforced quite fine. This is, this is the good news about having vassals, is that uh, they absolutely cream genes. And it's less armies for us to control, so while it will be unfortunate when we form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth that we will no longer have vassals, that's also fine. We have to accept this. Yep, I want that base tax in my capital, and I don't really care if the Schlotza hate me or not, because their penalties do not matter to me. It's the Beerers that I care about. And we're going to reinforce this army being attacked. Yeah, it's the it's the Beerers I care most about. Um, I wonder if we could vassalize them. Nope, okay, yep. We are going to return Kilberg to Volgast, take Stolp, take Tuchel, take Kolm, now. How much aggressive expansion would it be to just finish the job? Okay, I... Oh, who? Livonia, Brandenburg, and the Teutonic Order? Well, if it's just those guys. Yeah, that's more of what I expected. Um, I'm just going to take... Now, I really don't care if those guys form a coalition against me. Bohemia and Denmark. Denmark's the big one. Denmark has Sweden and Norway under a personal union, so they're strong. Yeah, I'm just going to um, take this from them. This unfortunately means that the city of Danzig event won't happen. I'm frankly okay with that, though. Okay, yeah, we, um... Yeah, we're just gonna siege this fort real quick so we can get more demands. I frankly don't care about the City of Danzig event. Um, we do get a mission to vassalize them, I think. Where is it? Prussian Confederation, yeah. So we can... We can do that, but I think we can just bypass this. Yeah, see, if the Danzig exists, we just get this mission, but we can just easily just take take this state ourselves. I know, how much of that did it count as? Okay, yeah, just these. So we do want all of these, and we'll return these two to Volgast. Volgast shouldn't join the coalition because we give them provinces. The rest, we don't really care. Okay, we're going to take your money and four of your provinces. Excellent. Now, this coalition will form, but that's okay. I don't know why I merged my armies. I really don't, but it's a good thing I make mine uniformly. Okay, and we have all the admin power necessary, so we cord them. And we complete the Prussian Federation. Now we get an event that reclaim Prussia, and we get... Oh, we don't get cores or claims. Let me just... Yep, now we have more, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see what that gave us. This should have given us a claim on Prussia. West Prussia, which is this, isn't it? Well, that's dumb. And what else? East Prussia? Nope. Kuyavia. Where's... Is that... I actually don't know where the... Ku oh, it's, it's this one. Okay, yeah, it's just where Chelmno is. That's a rather useless uh, mission, but... Oh well, it saved us some admin power, so why not? And that is where we will end the video for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like. If you dislike what you saw, dislike. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, inquiries, comments on where you want to see the series go, or ideas about other series that you'd like to see me play, 
please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of this series and my Oblivion series and any other series I might have by the time this actually uploads, uh, subscribe so you can see them. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching.